Hey everybody, it's Stone here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. Last time we took care of a lot of stuff in the Beach Ball Galaxy. Got up to 32 stars, and right now we're going to get warmed up in the kitchen. Right here by the stove. Actually, this time, we're going to unlock this galaxy. We're going to open it up and see what it is. Here we have the Bubble Breeze Galaxy. There's also the Boy Base Galaxy. Booey. My boy. The Booey Base Galaxy. Let's go ahead and take care of the Booey Base Galaxy. Both of these only have one star. Uh, there was also a uh, Hungry Luma that appeared outside the kitchen last episode, so we'll go take care of that as well. The Floating Fortress. Alright. This level... This level is also kind of iconic. I do believe. Because I always remember it. I always... I always had trouble with this one. I didn't like it. I didn't like it because it has to do with water. And I hate the water physics <laughs> in this game. Well, every game, but you know. It just kind of sucks. So what you gotta do is you gotta get one of these torpedo things. Where's it at? You gotta get it to hit this right here. Which is like a an anchor. No, 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 no. Over here. Yeah, good job. The camera kept turning, so like my controls were just nulled. Like they... My controls became null and void because the camera just kept turning, so like... It would turn one way in the direction... See? It did it right there, too. Why is it doing that? I'm not touching the camera controls right now. Even if I were, it probably wouldn't make a difference because they hardly work half the time. I don't know. I'm sorry. I keep bragging on this game, but it's like... It's it's really still one of my favorite games of all time. No joke. Watch out for that thing. Don't want to get thrown off of here. Now we got to scale this tower of sorts. This buoy. Oh, that's why I said that. Oh, okay. It's kind of like a fortress out on the water, which which kind of gives it its name, the Boo Base Galaxy. And the music reminds me of something from Pokemon. I can't put my finger on it, but the music definitely reminds me of something from Pokemon third generation. I think it's one of the roots in Emerald. I honestly think it's one of the roots in Emerald. Not this part of the song, but... Hmm, I don't know. I can't think of it. I'll, uh... I'll probably look it up later. See if I'm... Like, see if I'm actually thinking correctly, if I'm just stupid. And imagining things. Okay, didn't get squished there somehow. Go right here and get this one. We gotta get blue star chips, uh, in case you haven't noticed. So we can get some pool stars to go to the top, I presume. But the enemies are not making it easy on us. Nah, I'm just kidding, it's not that hard. But it's uh, a little bit weird when it comes to like... When it comes to like the camera turning and uh, you having a freaking gravitational field on the planet. You're a big help, really. Thank you. You know, Marley. Mar Marley. Marley. Mario hardly ever. I feel like he hardly ever gets thanked. Like he should. Like, I mean, there are games where he, obviously he gets thanked with, like, a cake or whatever, but I mean, honestly, come on. All the work this dude does, he should get, like, a freaking a key to the city. Or something like that. I don't know. Like. I don't know what's it either, but he deserves something big. Definitely a statue somewhere. Okay, what do I what do what to do now? I saw the I see the fourth one over there. I don't know where the fifth one is. Wow, that was cool. Had a long jump and it just killed me. Well it didn't kill me, but it just threw me straight down. I got back up here pretty fast. 
Okay, there's the fourth one. And is the fifth one on top of there? Okay, camera. Where am I facing? Which way is he fa Oh, my bad. Okay, so it is on top of there. So let's just do a few backflips. Get up here. Jump on his head. And get the, the pull stars to appear. We only need one. So that's... Good job. Oh, there's two. Never mind. So there's this thing that's, that's spraying out shockwaves around the planet, and it's phasing through that thing. And we gotta unscrew that one. And this planet has a particular shape. Hmm. What that reminds me of? Yeah, it kind of looks like a Pokeball. Duh. But then again, it could also just be a like a cool like a cool planet idea in the game. Maybe there was no reference to Pokemon whatsoever. But I know it definitely looks like a Pokeball. I don't know. <sighs> Once again, I'm sorry for yawning. I don't know what the heck. What's up with the yawning? I'm not even tired. Uh, there's a secret star in here. Let's go get that. It has a green question mark. Hmm, what about that? Well, we're going to see something new here. It's a secret star with a green question mark. What does that mean? What does that mean? Let's, uh, let's find out. So basically, you gotta do the same thing that you did. We gotta, we gotta do the same thing that we did last time. We gotta get the attention of a torpedo. Works the same way as a bullet bill on dry land. This one's a little bit easier, I think. You just gotta get to crash into that. And that's gonna create like a, a whirlpool into the pipe. And we get sucked down in there. I don't know how all that water is not being... Wait, that would create some weird like gravitational tidal forces, right? Because all the water is... Like the planet is mostly water. So that's where the center of the gravitational force comes from. But if there's like a, a suction pulling it out of there, there's obviously a lot of pressure inside the glass for there to be a suction pulling it out. So how would that work? We need, we need Vsauce here, come on. So we gotta escape the bullet fills, except we gotta get one to follow us in here and, and break open this glass. And what is this? This is a green star. It's a star. But it's green. Why? Why is there a green star? A green power star. And the text was green there too. I don't know if is the text normally green when you get a star? I don't know if that's a if that's a difference or not. I feel like I don't know. I don't know. The secret of buoy base. And I think they're gonna explain to us what that is. You rescued a green power star. These stars have a special power. Ask the green lumas about them. After all, they will transform into green power stars someday. So wait, you have freaking tons of lumas around here. Why do we have to go recover all of the power stars anyway if these guys are just going to turn into them? Thank you for helping me. I am a guardian of the trial galaxies. To restore the doorway, we will need the power of two others like me. So we're going to have to find uh, two more green stars at some point in the game. We'll, we'll happen across those at some time uh, in, the, in the kind of near future, but kind of not. I don't know. You'll see. We'll see. Honestly, I only remember where one other one is. <laughs> I don't remember where the last one is. Let's go back in here and go to that other galaxy that only had one star in it, the Bubble Breeze Galaxy. Through the Poison Swamp. Yeah, I know. Poison Swamp, Xenoblade. Better than this. <laughs> so mean to the game that I love so much. But yeah, Poison Swamp is a, is a location in, in Xenoblade. 
it's in a big area called Satoru Marsh. I, I'm not going to get into it. Anyway, let's talk to Captain Toad here. Ooh, the wind sure is strong here, eh? Don't you think it'd be awesome if you could ride that wind? Wow, Toad, it sure would be. Let's let's go do that. If you fall in the uh, the the brownish purple stuff that's poison, that's the swamp. Hey, before you ride any bubbles, let yours truly fill board and bend your ear for a sec. You can move around in your bubble by holding A. <laughs> Go too far on one side, use the cursor to blow on the other side. It's, once again, pretty intuitive controls, and I like that fill, the billboard, fill board. So what you gotta do is you just gotta hold A and move yourself around in the air. It's like a blower. It's pretty cool. I like the controls for this. If you run into the walls, you don't pop, but there are things that will kill you, like these. Uh, you gotta go ride the wind. It's gonna give us some coins, and that's not exactly lined up like it should be, but oh well. Let's see, where's the third one? Where's the third one? Is there one? No. I think this bubble would be popping actually though, because we're just running into the walls. There's the fourth one. The fifth one's on the other side of this spiky thing I'm not gonna take a chance with I'm just gonna go through here oh but there's another one over here but it, I think it moves a little bit slower it looks like I don't know that's gonna give us all five and a launch star appears uh, in the on the middle on the sand there Let's go over here and press Z to get out of the bubble ground pound out of it lots of star bits over here wow I didn't get nearly as many as I wish I had Um, what do you do here? Do you just maneuver the level? Here's a giant rotating uh, tree thing. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the level in, in Super Mario 64 DS where you recover Mario, like where you rescue Mario from the giant Goomba. That's what this reminds me of, because it had a lot of trees and, and stumps and stuff in it, and it, like, it was like a big swamp looking thing like this. That's what it reminds me of. It's been a long time since I've played that game. Holy crap. Like, really? It's been a long time. I mean, I, I don't want to play it, though, because I'm bad at it. Just like I'm bad at this one when I die on stuff like that. Uh, luckily, I don't think we have to start the whole level over, just this section, so it didn't set us too far back. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Let's go over here and get these star bits again, because we need star bits for stuff all the time. Definitely going to need them for that Hungry Luma after we get out of this level. Uh, I like the idea of collecting star bits. I like the, the function of them in, in the Galaxy games. Because they're, I mean, they're everywhere. They're everywhere, and they kind of show up all the time. And the cursor is kind of always on the on the screen, you know, whether you're trying to use it or not. It's not really obscure and in the way, and distracting from gameplay. The cursor's not, so it being there and it being the tool to collect star bits with is really a good idea, because they're just kind of everywhere. It's cool. We get a ground pound. Ooh, almost missed it there. And that's a timed, it's a timed wall, so we get a speed through there. It already closes back. Let's ride, ride the wind, bullseye. Now this one's gonna open for us. What's up here? Are you serious? We could have just gone that way the whole time. I said, "Are you serious?" And my phone. Oh my gosh, it does that all the time. Anything that you say, something that sounds like Siri, if my phone like goes, like it'll go off. It'll think you said, well, I'm not going to say it because it's going to it's gonna go off if I do that. Like, it's going to be like, sorry, I didn't catch that because it'll think I'm talking to it. That's cool, though, that they have that. It's just I wish it worked a little bit better because I've, I've been watching YouTube videos before and, like, they'll say something that has, like, they'll either say something, like, serious or um, it kind of sounds like Siri. 
And then there's, there's other stuff too that they can say, and it'll, it'll trigger it, but it's funny whenever it happens because it just confuses the crap out of me at first. Anyway, we got the star. Uh, <laughs> finally made it through the swamp. And we're back. We are definitely... <sighs> we, I, I wish I could stop yawning. I'm so sorry. We are definitely not in the swamp anymore. Thankfully. Now that we've done that, we've gotten three stars in the kitchen itself. Let's go see how many star bits this hungry lumen needs. We might not be able to do it right now. 600. How many do we have? 700. All right, so we can do it right now with 101 left over. Good. Transform! I actually forget which one, which galaxy this one turns into. I uh, hope it's a fun one. The Drip Drop Galaxy. Why do I not remember which one that is? Wait a minute. I think I do. But maybe not. Once I see the star name, I'll know. Giant Eel Outbreak. Okay, no, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm very confused. Oh, no, 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 no. I remember this one. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like this one. It's kind of pointless. Uh, we could have just landed right there, but the game gives us a nice fly around shot of the planet, which looks really cool, to be honest. Let's talk to the old dude. Ever since those big eels showed up, we haven't caught any fish. So there's a food chain depletion going on. We gotta take care of it. We gotta kill some of the eels in order to save the penguins. Uh, I don't forget how many there are. I feel like there's like two or three, maybe. But I'm just gonna kind of swing around. All right, there's one. Got him. And there are torpedoes under the water here. So you gotta be careful for that. Now these red shells, I think they actually home in like they do in Mario Kart. Like they're different. You know, like green shells are just go straight, and red shells kind of home in on them. Anyway, there's two we've already taken care of. Let's go find another one. Hi, sir. <laughs> Bye, sir. <laughs> that didn't take very long. Okay, spin. My Wii remote wasn't working for a second. That was weird. And touch the star. All right. All righty. All righty. Since it was a hungry Luma, we're gonna end up back here in the front of the observatory. Galaxy complete. All right, so we we did two stars in the buoy base galaxy. Uh, got got a green star. Discovered about those, uh, and uh, took care of that hungry Luma that took us to the drip drop galaxy. Next time on Super Mario Galaxy, we're gonna open up this galaxy that required 20 stars for us to open. Uh, and see what we can do in there. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.